Well, it's wonderful to be here and what a crowd. My name is Nick Milroy. I'm the new state representative from Ford Northwestern, Wisconsin, and I actually uh, took the place of Frank Boyle, who retired after 22 years in the assembly. And Frank, along with Senator Joe, back in the heydays of, of the real disputes with the treaty rights, were, were a couple of the legislators that stood up. So I've, I've learned a lot about leadership from Senator Jauk and, and from Frank Boyle, and it's it's great to get to know Senator Jim Holper down in, in the Senate right now. But uh, for, for a lot of you, a lot of you know me, a lot of you might not. I, it, it was one of the honors of my life to work for Glyphwick. I worked for Glyphwick for seven years, and that's really where I, I learned a lot about leadership. I learned from people uh, being at meetings with guys like Leo LaBerner and Tom Molson and Kurt Kelk. Um, it, I just had a wonderful opportunity. I, I made lifelong friends working for the organization. So today it's my privilege to present Glyphwick and the member tribes with an enrolled joint resolution that was recently passed by the State Senate and the State Assembly. This will forever be a historical document in the state of Wisconsin. Whereas the Great Lakes Indian Fish and Wildlife Commission and its member tribes are celebrating the 25th anniversary of the commission, and the efforts of its member tribes to secure and implement their ceded territory treaty rights. And whereas 2009 is the 25th anniversary of the formation of the Great Lakes Indian Fish and Wildlife Commission, and whereas the commission and its member tribes will celebrate by documenting the history of the commission and telling a good story, Minwajimo. And whereas the good story refers to the efforts of the commission and its member tribes to secure and implement their ceded territory treaty rights over the past 40 years, and whereas the commission has played an important role in the implementation of its member tribes' treaty rights and the preservation and protection of natural resources of the ceded territory, and whereas the commission, its member tribes, and the citizens of northern Wisconsin have worked and will continue to work together to build cultural understanding and cooperative relationships. Now, therefore, be it resolved by the State Senate and the State Assembly concurring that the members of the Wisconsin Legislature congratulate the Great Lakes Indian Fish and Wildlife Commission and its member tribes as they celebrate in Wajimo, telling a good story, preserving Ojibwa treaty rights, and be it further resolved that the Senate Chief Clerk shall present a copy of this joint resolution to the Great Lakes Indian Fish and Wildlife Commission. And this is signed by the leaders of the Assembly and the leader of the Senate. Congratulations. I just want to say thank you on behalf of the Commission for everything you guys do on your part. Uh, wrapped up here and uh, before I turn it over to uh, my boss uh, Jim Zwarin uh, there's another little story that I'd like to uh, like to relate to, relate to you and uh, uh, this involves uh, a Cree man who uh, went on a train trip and bought a stick and then he requested a sleeping berth and uh, that ticket was made, so in another part of the country, this Ojibwe woman, this Chippewa woman, decided to take a train ride, and she requested a sleeping berth. Well, so happened, they got on the train, and that evening when they retired, they discovered they were both in the same room. Well, there was a lot of uneasiness there, boy, I'm telling you. And uh, they called the conductor, and they said, we need a new room, and the conductor said, we have nothing else, this is the only thing we have, you know. So they decided to make the best of it. The Cree man got up, up in the top bunk and stayed there, and the Ojibwe woman was sleeping in the lower bunk. It's about 2 o'clock in the morning, the Cree man wakes up. He yells down to the Ojibwe woman, wakes her up out of a deep, warm sleep, and he says, Hey, wake up down there. Wake up, wake up. She said, What's wrong? He said, I'm freezing to death up here, he says. My God, it's so God cold. I can't get no rest. Could you get out of bed and walk over to that closet and get me a blanket? The triple woman says, hey, he's, she says, just for tonight, she said, let's pretend 
that were a husband and wife. That Korean man's eyes lit up. He said, wow, that would be great. She says, get your own blanket. <laughs> I tell you, to put on an event like this, it really takes a lot of work and there's a lot of dedication and a lot of people that put a lot of time and effort into something like this. You know, we come to a Chautauqua event, we've come, buy our tickets and on and enjoy it, but boy, in the background, to, to put this on, we talked about this last year, and, and do put a lot of effort in And we hired a, a person to coordinate this effort, Lisa David. I'd like to acknowledge her, she did a great job. Uh, Rose Wilmer, who on our, our office side, trying to maintain some senility and just to keep things in place, that, that worked out really fine. I want to also thank uh, the drum from Mole Lake, Fred Ackley and his crew, they just do a super job. Mark, uh, Mark Golke on the, on the pipe, uh, thank you so much for that tonight. Uh, we got about five minutes, which is really, really ten, and, lawyer time, so I, I'm, gonna, uh, I'm going to uh, turn this over to my boss, Jim Zorn. Uh, Jim. Boy, he's tough. Uh, now let's see what kind of speech he and Ann prepared for me. One score in five years ago. Mount Astro Bay Address? I mean, look, we have a saying around our office called the Executive Administrator's Prerogative. That means when you're the boss, you get to do uh, what you want to do when it's time to do it. And this really is the time to say there's been enough. So that we don't have to argue about who gets to take what fish. I get to argue with Matt about how we make sure there's enough fish there for everybody. Because if we don't quit destroying spawning habitat, there won't be fish for anyone. I get to argue with Matt and EPA about how we're gonna clean up fish so there's no more mercury in them so that those fish are safe to eat. So that's the challenge that we have for the future. And this good story that we're telling, it's not finished yet because this is that proverbial never ending story. Treaty history is made every day. We have future generations that are counting on us so that when it is Glyphwick's 50th anniversary, 100th anniversary, they too can tell the good story like we're doing tonight. So thank you for joining us. Enough said. Let the show begin. Regret. We got about five minutes before showtime, so that gives you a uh, quick chance to do what you have to do. Uh, and uh, supposedly the beer tent's open, and we want all travel people not to go there, so we can skip the tour. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>